everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and a huge welcome if you're new here. This is a video dedicated to the white shirt. It's one of the most useful and versatile pieces in your wardrobe. An absolute wardrobe must have. It's comfortable, it's flattering and it's chic and it's a classic that will never date. And when I say white, of course, what I really mean is any pale version of white that suits you. So it could be ivory or cream or acru, according to what suits your own skin colouring. I know that some of us steer away from actual pure white, so white is flexible here. So I'm going to be building up lots of different looks that you can wear for different occasions and that you can wear year round. And you may well have many of these items already in your wardrobe. I'm sharing seven ways to style a white shirt that you can adapt to your your own pieces, your own style and the things in your own wardrobe. I'll also be talking about what works best and why it works for these particular looks. So let's start with the shirt itself. So the white shirt that I've selected. Of course there are many iterations of white shirt but this one I've chosen for lots of different reasons. Firstly, it's 100% cotton and I always prefer natural fabrics where possible. Um, it's also very reasonably priced. It's only £20 from H&M. It's on the large side, which you can see here, which means it can be styled in lots of different ways. It's kind of more flexible that way. And there's plenty of room in the arms and in the body. And it looks and feels way more expensive than it was too. Design elements that I really love about this blouse are the larger cuffs, first of all, which add structure, they add style, and also the classic collar. It's not too small, it's not too big, um, there's lots that we can do with it, and the hemline as well, which is curved. Now, I'm going to be talking a lot about that later in the video, um, and what the benefits are of having a curved hemline. So let's dive straight into the first way of wearing a white shirt. It's a real classic and I'm going to be talking about the different styling options of the shirt itself to ring the changes as well. So uh, white shirt with jeans is my first way of styling a white shirt. You could wear this in lots of different ways. Now if you prefer not to tuck fully in, there are also lots of other options. Try a half tuck which gives waist definition but without showing your whole waist off if you don't want to do that. And of course half tucks can also be done in different ways either tuck in one side of the shirt, so one half of the shirt is tucked in and the other half isn't, um, or tuck in the front of the shirt and leave the back outside the trousers or the jeans or whatever you're wearing it with. You can wear it with the shirt tucked all the way in. Now a belt is optional here. Um, if you add a belt it creates more structure and it tends to elevate the look a little bit I think, so it depends what sort of look you're going for. A little styling tip to mention that I want to share with you about this particular shape of shirt, which I also mentioned um, earlier, is the curved scoop shape of the hemline. Now, if you choose a shirt with a curved hemline, like this one, rather than one that's completely straight across, it's much more flexible for styling. If you have a curved hemline that goes up at the, at the seam at the side, it allows you to do these half tucks or full tucks, whereas a straight hem doesn't allow you to do that. Also, if you want to just leave the shirt completely out of the jeans uh, or whatever you're wearing it with, it looks great because it's much more flattering and the curvy bit really elongates the legs. I've selected my mango ankle grazer length jeans here um, to style with the white shirt as they create a balance with the shirt and the loafers, particularly in terms of tone of colour that is. The lightish blue wash is also not too much of a contrast with the white and for comfort and ease as well as style I've teamed the look with these light beige flat loafers which are to die for in terms of comfort they really are but also uh, again the same lightish tone so the whole outfit looks very put together it's the same kind of wash of colour and for an extra je ne sais quoi uh, I'm adding this chic little tote bag. I've just got this. It's a snip of a price. Um, it's not quite the Rive Gauche bag or indeed the Marc Jacobs bag, but it gives a similar vibe for a fraction of the price. It's just beautiful. Now I wanted to show you a different shape of jeans and a different colour of jeans with this next look. Now here I'm styling the white shirt a little differently. Again, uh, a style that can be done with the curved hemline. Uh, I've just left a few buttons undone at the bottom of the shirt and I've tied up the ends of the shirt to make a knot, which gives a relaxed but really chic vibe to the whole outfit. 
Now these jeans are obviously a much darker shade than the other ones, which means they're very flattering to the silhouette as well. If you're worried about, you know, your legs, then these are really flattering because they're a darker look. <clears throat> so although there's much more colour contrast to this outfit, it's well balanced because the jeans have the flare at the bottom of the leg, which balances out the looser shape of the shirt. So you can style a looser leg jean with a looser blouse as long as the jeans fit at the top of the leg so that it doesn't create too much overall volume, particularly in the middle of your torso area. Now, in fact, I think this shape of jean is incredibly flattering for so many body shapes. It's really lovely. Now, the wider shirt, which comes in at the waist and then the slim top of the trousers going into the flared bottom, creates a real hourglass look. This shape of jean with the white shirt can be dressed up or down beautifully. Uh, as you can see here, I've gone for a slightly smarter look with my pointed toe sock boots, which are great at the bottom of this uh, slightly wider trouser at the bottom, and a little neck scarf. Now, I like to think of it as a little Parisian touch, but you may comment below and laugh and say, Deirdre, that really isn't Parisian at all. So let's move on to styling a white shirt as a monochrome outfit. So this is the second way that I'm styling it. So with a white shirt, of course, you can create a monochrome outfit with lots of different fabrics and textures. Um, and I've chosen something which is quite spring-like in feel. So this is the second way. That... Now I love an all white look. And of course the pieces don't have to be completely white, uh, just roughly white. Now here I've teamed the white shirt with my Karen Millen pair of ivory tailored trousers. Now these are not new, I bought them maybe over a year ago, but they're the sort of trousers that are real investment pieces and I think tailored trousers really are. Again, like the last outfit, this works because there isn't too much material in the trousers at the top, not all the way down, only nearer the feet. So it doesn't look like there's too much bulk in the trousers and too much volume, even though the shirt is quite loose. Now I've added a casual element with trainers, but I've kind of juxtaposed it with a more formal cream quilted bag, uh, which is a Bottega Veneta dupe, of course, um, but just a nice little mix, you know, with the casual touch, with the more formal touch, and of course, with the sunglasses, which tops it off. Now, of course, you could select white denim or other whitish materials, such as linen, as one of my favorites, as the weather warms up. So the third way that I'm gonna be styling the white shirt is with the tailored trousers. I love a crisp white shirt and tailored trousers. I think it's such a chic look. And these black wide leg trousers have a beautiful flow to them and they're another wardrobe staple. Uh, now this look is also balanced because although there's volume in the trousers, there's enough weight in the fabric so that the top of the leg looks really neat, especially in the color of black, of course, and it counterbalances the looser shirt. So I've added another little dimension to a, an essentially black and white outfit, of course, with my tan belt and my tan loafers. Now this adds some interest, especially with the slightly unusual belt shape. And the belt also has the effect of elongating the leg because it's, it's a, a vertical line of the belt rather than all horizontal, which a normal belt would be. Um, it has a downwards part, sending the eye downwards, therefore being elongating. I've also picked up the little tan elements in my gorgeous straw basket, which I absolutely adore. I just can't wait for summer to take it absolutely everywhere with me. It's just so beautiful. It's practical as well as chic. And of course, it even has a drawstring to keep everything safe inside. Now, it looks like the Loewe, um, but actually it's from Marks and Spencers at a total fraction of the price, and it's really lovely. Of course, a classic shirt is also perfect as a third layer. And just before I talk about the white shirt as a third layer, if you are enjoying this video, please do give it a thumbs up because if I get lots of likes on a video, it, A, it helps the algorithm, and B, it tells me what videos you really like so that I can make more of them for you. And also, if you're new here, please do subscribe because it really helps the channel to keep going. I share styling inspiration on what works and what doesn't work and why it works or doesn't work. And I do a video every week and I also do a short midweek as well. Of course, a classic shirt is also perfect as a third layer. Now for me, it is the ultimate runaround outfit and it can take you from spring, summer through to autumn. And I've got to be honest, this is the sort of look that you will often see me in behind the scenes. In all of these seasons, it's just so easy to wear. 
Now, of course, all shirts work well as a third layer, um, acting like a casual jacket, really, just thrown over a cami or a T-shirt, uh, or cargo pants or shorts, too, when the weather gets warmer, because suddenly it makes the whole outfit look put together. It looks intentional and it's much more stylish. And I bet this is one look that you've already worn and you've got plenty of these sorts of pieces in your wardrobe. So there's something about a white shirt, though, um, more than any other colour, used as a third layer that hits the spot, isn't it? So, so all you need for this look is add a pair of sunglasses, a stylish bag, a stack of bracelets, some shiny earrings and you're good to go. Oh, we've been talking a lot about styling a white shirt with trousers or with jeans but what about with a skirt so this is my next way of styling it a white shirt with a skirt denim skirts like this one in a fitted midi pencil style are having a moment as they say if you want to invest in one thing other than the white shirt of course um, that won't break the bank and will really demonstrate that you're with it get yourself a denim midi length pencil skirt. Um, it looks great, it's really practical, especially if you choose one with a slit so you can actually walk. <laughs> now they come in all budgets of course but this is actually from Boohoo and it cost me the princely sum of £15 and I just think that the white shirt with a fairly dark or mid wash, works better than a light wash, uh, in this shape is what I would call easy chic. It's the sort of thing you can just throw on, it will take you anywhere, you know, out for lunch or drinks even, if you want to add some, some heels or some jewellery. So for my next look and my next way of styling a white shirt, number six is white shirt with a sweater over the shoulders, like I'm wearing now. If you're anything like me, when I was younger, I used to look at pictures of women who were, had nonchalantly thrown sweaters over their chic white shirts and I used to think, wow, that just screams chic. This sort of a look often gives nautical or south of France vibes as well, which adds to the stylishness of the whole look. And honestly, you can add any type of bottoms to this. Now in this look, I've selected these fabulous ankle grazer trousers in navy from Marks and Spencers because I do think that the ankle grazer length and the straight cut really complements the look. It's very, it adds to the classicness of the whole thing. This is the sort of look that you can wear from now right the way through spring, summer, on holiday and into autumn. It's a classic. So the essential elements are navy and white with some stripes, um, particularly in the sweater, and some mix of navy and white in it and you get the same vibe. And wearing it like this, the navy trousers are slimming because they're straight leg, the white shirt is fresh and youthful and the structure is actually created by the third element of the sweater. So it works almost like uh, a blazer or um, a white shirt as a third layer. It just gives that extra element of style and also it's a good way for keeping your shoulders warm in the breeze. So for my seventh way of wearing a white shirt and I know there are many more, my seventh one is a white shirt with a jacket or a blazer. This is an iconic look and simple pieces which together make for real style. A white crisp shirt, a classic black blazer, especially preferably with some kind of interesting buttons like these ones. Blue jeans, particularly darker blue jeans because then you get the whole silhouette looking better together, classic loafers and jewellery of your choice. Now if there's really one outfit from this video that I would say could take you from breakfast, well coffee time, <laughs> to lunch to dinner out, it's this one. And I also want to show you here another design element or the design element that I mentioned before actually in the white shirt which is these larger cuffs. Um, if you gently pull the cuffs out from the bottom of the blazer or the jacket that you're wearing, it just adds another dimension, another style element. And of course, this is kind of a formula, really, the white shirt, the blazer and the jeans or the trousers, because you can adapt this again, like all the other looks, you can adapt this to your own pieces in your own wardrobe. If you don't like a black blazer or you don't have one, that's fine. Wear what you've got, but it, it's the same look that we're after here. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video, ladies. I hope it's given you some inspiration on the numerous ways that you can style a classic white shirt. And I know there are others, and I'd love to hear some of your comments in the video um, comments section underneath this video, because um, I always love to hear from you, and we have a great community there. Uh, remember, of course, all the links to the items that I've shown and worn are in the description as well. So I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week, and I'll see you really, really soon. Lots of love. Bye.